Harris. It's Tucson's biggest private employer, and it may be getting much bigger. Raytheon is working towards a merger with another huge tech company. Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith looks at what a merger could mean for our region. Raytheon is Pima County's biggest private employer with roughly 12,000 employees and $2.1 billion in total impact on Arizona's economy. Now Raytheon is working towards a merger with another tech giant, United Technologies. While Raytheon is strong in products like weapons and radars, United Technologies is a leader in jet engines and aircraft components for military and civilian applications. Because there's little, if any, overlap in what the two companies do, Pima County Economic Development Director John Moffitt does not foresee a merger cutting Raytheon jobs here. But certainly Raytheon Missile Systems is not something that United Technologies has been doing. So we, we feel you know that, that it's probably complementary as opposed to competitive. Raytheon's been on a building boom in Tucson, expanding facilities and adding jobs. These roads and the road work here are an example of local government's commitment to keep Raytheon here and growing. This road was actually diverted to the south to make sure the plant would still have room to expand. The area around Raytheon has already attracted other tech companies. Tucson Mayor Jonathan Rothschild thinks a merger with United Technologies could accelerate that. Especially an aerospace and defense company, when they're looking around the country, if they see a company like Raytheon, they know that they may have a, a ready workforce. They know they have, for instance, a university that has got an engineering school that is uh, feeding uh, Raytheon a lot of employees and that means it can um, feed a lot of other employees. And both city and county officials say as the companies come together they'll want to meet with the new company's leaders to learn what they plan for the future. Craig Smith, KGUN 9 on your side.